If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. And if you need any code cards, make sure you check out Potown Store for automatic email delivery and use code TABLEMONTH for 5% off all your purchases. Welcome back guys, welcome back to a brand new day of Road to Teacher World 2020. Thank you so much for joining me today, really appreciate it. Um, <clears throat> if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like. If you're here with me live on Twitch, I really appreciate you hanging out with me today. And so, we are going to be featuring the Browlet and Alolan Executor Tag Team GX deck that was played in Day 2 at the World Championships. We have the attack super growth where we can search our deck for a card that evolves from one of our grass pokemon put it onto that pokemon and evolve it and then if that pokemon is a stage one you can search your deck for the stage two and evolve it again now that's the main way we are going to evolve our pokemon um, especially the livani which reduces 40 damage to grass pokemon that way this guy with 200 hp that and choice helmet is going to be very very difficult to take down now we do have some energy in the deck so we can attack with calvin hurricane which deals 150 thank you so much hazard um for the follow 150 damage and does heal 30 damage so even more damage reduction and then we also have tropical hour gx which deals 200 damage and if we have three extra energy attached, your opponent shovels all energy from all their Pokemon into their deck. So a really powerful attack, but just not quite the ideal one we are looking for. Um, getting six energies onto Rowlet and along the sector is actually impossible because we do not even have five energy total. Um, okay, so then we also have um, the Livani to reduce damage. And we have Latios, yeah, Latios GX's um, attack purge is pretty powerful to stop tag teams from attacking after we've run our opponent out of some resources or a lot of resources. And especially since we run healing, attack purge can be pretty powerful and clear vision GX preventing your opponent from using their GX attack can also be important. We have four shame into floral heal our active grass Pokemon, AKA Rowlet, and we also have a 3-2 line of Araquanid, Water Bubble, Prevent all damage on this Pokemon by attacks for your opponent's Fire Pokemon. So essentially like Bronson Pot, we can evolve Araquanid on turn 1. Although I generally do not understand why you would play the Water type Dew Powder, Dew Powder, rather than 3 of the Grass type. Yeah, that's my first question. And my other question is, why would you play the memory energy? Yeah, I feel like this should be a weak guard energy, not the memory energy, but I don't know. It's like a corner rock rough as a win condition. Wait, which? Which attack does that? KDC, which? What the? What's the corner rock row? Oh, the water dew spider. Oh, the spider web. The any poke can retreat. Oh, that's right. That's right. I hadn't noticed the second attack. You are completely correct. That's actually pretty clever. Not gonna lie, that's pretty clever. And finally, we have a Munch Lex with the ability Snack Search, where once you're in turn before the attack, you may flip a coin. If heads, put a card from your discard pile on top of your deck, and if you use this ability, your turn ends. So. Pretty nice when we're not attacking, just a way to end our turn by finding an extra resource, potentially, or if not, like half the time we'll find an extra card that we want to use. So pretty cool. Now, as we are a mill deck, we have of course our four Stevens, our double Lusamine. We also have four Bills Analysis to get going. We have a copy of Blue's Tactics, which I'm surprised when we draw cards until we have eight cards in our hand at the end of our turn, right? We have a Mars to attack the hand, we have Fava to attack stadiums, two cards and special energies. Um, we have Gardenia to heal, we have Pokemon Fan Club to search for the other small guys. 
and we have a Tain Eliza for switching purposes. Now we do have two Bar Blunt, which is really powerful. We have the Life Forest to help with the healing along with the Great Potion. We have four Poke Gears to help us get going. The one Switch, the one Reset Samp, and the two Net Bolt to find either Energy or our Grass Pokemon. So I'm looking forward to playing this deck, actually. It seems very, very fun. Yeah, it actually seems very fun. So let's go ahead and go for that. Yeah. You can look Nagnatel if you have Araquanid with Memory Energy, Rainbow Energy, Livani, and two Shamans. Sounds like a lot, but it's quite manageable. Tay talks one. That actually makes a lot of sense. I guess there's a lot of things you can, you could trap. Um, but yeah, I mean, especially in decks like Placevalon that don't play any, um, that don't play any switching cards. That's especially powerful. All right, so yeah. Something I will try to keep in mind. And speaking of, <laughs> I mean, against Card Brazilian, I don't think that's gonna come into play. The GX attack is gonna be super annoying, right? The GX attack is gonna be super annoying, but as long as we have a setup to where we have like um, everything down, we should be fine. Ooh, Whimsicott, never mind. Whimsicott GX with. Porygon. This might be a bad matchup for the deck. Because they could try to get all the cards in their hand. Well, they don't play Switch, right? So actually the two Pider win condition. An option to win against Blastephalon. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. I might need the Dupider strategy against Porygon Z? No. What would I possibly want to lock down? Everything can attack and everything one kills are okay, so never mind. I need a big build analysis here. That is a really awful build analysis. Um I sure the choice helmet? We rely on Mars to set up now. This is actually awful. Well, Faba, I guess there's merit to Faba. Not a lot of merit, <laughs> but there's merit to Faba. I think I just pass here. How do you ghost the Nagnadel? Yeah, that's a very good question. How do you ghost the Nagnadel? Oh, you can craft your nine kills. But how do I bring the nine kills up? Ah, okay, yeah, that's true, that's true. He will just naturally go for it, that's true. Like you set up the Araquanid, therefore Blasephalon can't attack you, therefore they have to go into the Araquanid, therefore Yeah, they hit you for 40 and then you trap it, you heal Alright, pretty good <laughs> Thank you so much Uncle Krish Thank you so, so much That was so kind of him. Why would you build away my Fava? Okay. So Netball. I'm gonna get going. And I think I just Steven here. Just get myself set up. This is the basic. I do have a Livani, I just need to not top the kit. Hmm, I like that guy, and then another Steven? No, because I'm gonna use my attack. So what do I want? A choice helmet, I guess. Yeah, I think that's right. I think that's right. This is gonna be a weird game because this guy, like this deck, needs to play against things that don't do unlimited damage. 
And at some point, he could just go double, triple, 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 <laughs> triple, triple, and KO. Hmm. Okay. Are we gonna get KO'd? Maybe. <laughs> the answer is maybe. Hopefully not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Perfect Kale. Perfect Kale. Very nice. Ah, very nice. <laughs> Oops, right? Why did I not plan for my opponent's absolute perfect hand? Okay, so... I mean, that just means we need this guy to survive forever. <laughs> so... I kind of like just Taylor Liza here. Please don't draw the two Swat Loons. No. <laughs> <sighs> I mean, how is I even going to heal the damage anyways? I'm dead. I'm just gonna concede. Reaper Oni. <laughs> I think you should test a Keldeo GX instead of a second choice helmet. Right now I'm playing the deck as as it did at the World Championship. Yeah, and then eventually I'll start modifying things to my liking, feedback, etc. And we'll hopefully have a better time that way. Okay, so I think we're up against Blounts. So let's try and get the 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 Araquanid win condition. Yeah, let's try and do that. Hmm... <laughs> We have one more of each of these guys, but we don't have... But then we have three more of these guys. And we have a switch, so we can just switch and turn one. Okay. So... Hmm. It's not a very good handle. I want this guy. I think I kind of want the Munchlax. Maybe, no, I think I just need to set up this guy. Well, I can grab that guy with this. So... Maybe just another two fighter? Or the bunch likes. I mean... Yeah. What does Araquanid do? It can't be attacked by... Um, it can't be damaged by Fire-type Pokemon. Okay, but I definitely don't go for it this turn. Right? Because then, if my opponent goes Welder attached, boom. <laughs> That's three prizes. Thank you so much, Dave Zeppelin, for hanging out. I'm sure I'll see you around more. Yeah? Purple. Yeah, can't be damaged by fire type Pokemon. So you trap something because your opponent will naturally have to, like, they have to attack. Why would you do that? I'm not GX. They have to attack the Araquanid. Yeah, they have to. Because Araquanid can't be damaged by, um, by fire types. So they have to attack with Magnadel. 
and they hopefully they do so with um, hopefully they do so with the um, with the regular Nagma though. Okay, so I'm not playing the Poke Gear, but I am playing the Faba. Goodbye, your beast energy, my friend. And then super growth, awesome. I feel like I go for this guy first. Yeah, because I'm I'm confident I'll survive. Maybe that was a mistake, but I'm confident I'll survive. Yeah, Naga. If they go for Naga GX, then that's a problem. But that's why you trap them. Yeah, we're gonna try and use spider web to stop them. Yeah. It's never gonna happen. I mean, nobody should promote. That's the thing. I guess you're counting on, uh, or Sander was counting on the inexperience of people against this deck, right? Like just looking at the deck, it wasn't easy to tell that was a strategy, right? We'll see, we'll see. Well. We actually survived them the 300 mind blown. <clears throat> we actually survived the 300 damage mind blown. Hmm. But we don't survive the 400 damage one. <laughs> no wonder. I mean, we'll try. So far. Seems okay. Now we're confused, that's annoying. In terms of potentially evolving, right? But if I get Stevens, I'll definitely go for that instead. And thanks so much, Lego Subi, for the follow. Okay, so I guess I'll build still. Damaging myself doesn't matter at this point. Okay, Steven and Choice Helmets. I think it's nice. So, sure, yeah, the choice helmet there, and then I'll distract him, right, with this dupe hider, <laughs> and then I'll plural heal. I mean, this guy buys you turns with bubble as well, and then try to super grow, yes, perfect. I am, oh, I can only evolve this one. Okay, so I'm going all in on this one dupe hider to win me the match. Hello, little Subi. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll see if it works, yeah? Perfect game to see if it works. Nag. Half full. It's fine. <laughs> it's all about the little water spider. We need a second shaman too. Yep. But we need our opponent to not be at three prizes, actually. <laughs> we need our opponent, but see, like, he's investing into the nag. Well, I guess not. He hasn't attached the energy, never mind. He's gonna attach to the active. We'll see, though. We'll see. Will our opponent fall for our spider web trap? This is gonna be super interesting. That's a very peculiar win condition. Spider web. <laughs> okay, so you've activated my tracker exactly. So he's at three prizes now. Oh, you know what? Oh, no. well, one custom catcher is down. Oh, no, that doesn't matter. Never mind, that doesn't. No, it, it, well, it kind of does matter. We're gonna have to attach energy to this guy. Okay, so I'll promote this. 
so that he goes, oh, Nagna Del gets a KO, that's awesome, right? But what he doesn't know is that that is all part of the plan. It's gonna take me more than one turn to do it, though. Okay, so definitely grabbing this, definitely grabbing this. And definitely grabbing this. Right? Hmm. I might not have enough turns to pull it off. I don't think I'll have enough turns to pull it. Well, it'll, yeah. Ooh, you know what? I should have. I needed to grab reset stamp right there. Instead of this guy, I needed to grab reset stamp. Unless my opponent doesn't have welder, which I'd be very surprised. Well, he doesn't. That's good. Oh, he's gonna burst GX. That's completely okay. So I'll be like, oh no, you KO my, you get out, you get a prize with burst, and then I'm gonna actually let him KO the active Araquanid, I think. Well, we'll see. Okay, no welder means we're in the clear, I think. I'm really surprised. It seems like Shintaro's deck, right? Yeah, exactly. Next turn, Stevens for memory, Shaman, and another supporter. Yeah, there's the burst, that's fine. Okay, definitely a ball though, right? It's not like he's gonna goose like he's not gonna use double custom catcher to KO this one in particular. Okay, so then let's go for the memory energy. The shaman, because we need the double shaman, right? And the reset stamp is tempting, but I feel like builds is better. Nah, uh, it's probably it should probably be this. Uh, is that better? Yeah, because he might try to break the lock, right? By custom capturing something. So I don't spider web. What's gonna happen guys? What's gonna happen, people? Hello, Pestman. No, you're kidding. Oh, that's just as bad. <laughs> Wait. Oh, no, I just trapped the Blacephalon. Right? I just trapped the Blacephalon, and that's it. So we don't get to trap this guy, but we don't need to. If we trap a Fire Pogon, that's even better. I mean, even if he had gusted this guy it didn't matter and he's out of gusting effects so we are in the clear i'm pretty sure we win so what does this deck do this deck tries to win by um stalling yeah this deck tries to win by stalling prevent oh prevent all damage all oh, the confusion oh my god the confusion so I have to, I have to force this guy, I have to force that guy, yeah the confusion, okay the confusion guys, the confusion, okay we're still okay I think, we're still gonna be okay. And pass. We're still finding the trap. Yeah, life forest heals special condition. We don't know. Uh the psychic is there. The beast energy is gone, so he can't attack with Nagnatel GX. He has to come in with this Nag. And he just replaced his stadium. Okay, so now we could actually trap the Blacephalon. Now it would be fine. Now it would definitely stick, right? If it's three stadiums, now it would definitely stick. We're good. Yeah, this is only good versus fire decks. Yeah, but otherwise you lose versus the fire deck. So you need to, right? We did it! <laughs> Spiderweb! Spider. 
Spider web. Spider web. <laughs> what a weird game. Oh no, we haven't done it yet, actually. We're not in the clear yet. Oh, this guy has two retreat costs. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the Livani KO means we're dead. I didn't do it. We're missing the Livani, because then this guy just deals too much damage. I can switch. But I'm in the same spot as before. Yeah, I switch, but that doesn't matter though. He hits me for 80. The whole idea is that by reducing 40 damage with the Livani, this guy only deals 40 and then you heal the other 40 and then they're trapped forever. I mean, yeah, I have to, right? I have to. I mean, I, I, I got to use Spiderweb. <laughs> I got to use spider wave. Tail and Lies, that was the right supporter to grab as well. So can we heal enough? A Gardenia also helps as a top deck. No. Not quite. Can I retreat into something? Nothing takes a hit. Well, this guy takes a hit. But then what? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's so close, though. So close. Nightblood played it perfectly, right? KO Livani makes sense in that stuff. And like you, you have you lose immediately half the game. Um You lose half the game immediately after your Rowlet goes down, so <laughs> that's pretty that's pretty sad. Right? That's pretty difficult to deal with. Okay, so this is probably the judge speaker um. We win the coin flip, we definitely want to go first. Mm -hmm. We get a free retreater. That's always nice. <laughs> I could have done that. Yeah, it's revenge. I could have done that. That is true. Wait, what? Okay, so this is Malamar. So if that is the case. If this is Malamar, I'll pinch this guy, and I kind of feel like I just Stevens here. Maybe I attach. No, I'll attach to the thing. I'll Stevens. For the Waddle, for this guy, and since I'm gonna attack, I might as well fan club. Yeah. <laughs> Dalton grows my yeah. We've we've had an interesting set of games. These meal decks, they're just definitely not my style. Like you're always just hoping your opponent doesn't have the right cards, right? You're always just hoping, hoping, hoping. And this will be the last game of today's stream. I have less time today, but I've streamed. Three three days in a row. That's like a new record for me. <laughs> I hadn't streamed. Why not attach? Because I'd rather save the energy for the Rowlet. I don't have to attach energy every time I find one. Attaching energy to Rowlet and potentially powering up to Calming Hurricane seems like a much better option. There is merit to using the GX attack, right? The clear vision. Oh, he can target down my bench though. That's annoying. Even more reason to uh, power up this guy. Okay, so definitely this guy. Do I want a GX? I don't think so. Poor Shaman. 
poor, poor shaman is just gonna go out. Yeah, I mean, that's a decent strategy. What stops my opponent? Oh, this, the Livani stops. The Livani stops him, because now his thing does zero damage, right? Not only to the active, it's to all your grass Pokemon. Yeah, never mind. My Shaman survives. Never mind. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely an interesting deck. It's just, ugh. Didn't heal 10 from active. Oops. <laughs> that is correct. That is correct. It allows... Uh, that's true, because I didn't heal Subway. You are right. Yeah. Yeah, so bi big deal. The rainbow is not the thing. Not healing is the big deal. Not healing is definitely a big deal. With zero psychics in the discard pile, still wish have already been used. It's gonna be okay, but the correct thing would have been to attach the energy, promote the thing, and heal. Yeah, I just got a little bit eager. I just got a little bit eager. No big deal. Yeah. Doesn't seem like it's gonna matter, yeah. But if my opponent goes Viridian, Viridian always Psychic for Psychic, Attach, Psychic Recharge, boom. Then it would be very sad. I also forgot the heal. <laughs> I also forgot the heal, clearly. It's okay. Puts back Malamar. I can only imagine that's gonna be at the Dene? No, a Giratina, okay. I don't mind that too much. I don't mind that too, too much. I think we're in a good spot now. Seems like my opponent completely whipped a Psychic, which is good. Seems like my opponent completely whipped a Psychic, which is good news for us. Not for them. Not for them. Not the best of deals. If I end up losing a shaman, I'll end up losing a shaman, it's fine. He's gonna target down this guy. Or he forgets. Yeah. He forgets. <laughs> One of the two. What's going to happen? So let's floral heal. Yeah. Okay, so what's more valuable? The other shaman. Or the Munchlax. I kind of like the Munchlax on the bench, actually. Kind of like the Munchlax. And then let's try and find an energy. I think it's worth it to, to attack. Not quite, so let's go for a Snack Search. Tails, that's fine. We weren't going to do anything anyways. <laughs> That's another switch being used. Like, imagine this, this mill deck, if they played like two custom catchers to just time them at the perfect time after your opponent has like a lot of energies in play or something and then three switches in the discard pile, that could be the game winning play, right? I don't know. Snack time. <laughs> Coincidentally, I'm eating grapes for snacks. Is it a coincidence? Is it not? These look like grapes. <laughs> no, they're like... What are... What are... Or, they're orange berries. <laughs> not quite m and time. Healthy m and time. <laughs> Healthy M&M &M time. Okay. So 160 minus 70. 
time. This is still a problem though. I mean, we get to fully heal this turn, but thanks to the Great Potion. Thanks to the Great Potion. Poison Raspberry. <laughs> Okay, I definitely think I play down my power plant. I'll definitely attach, and then I want to blues tactics, and then I will snack surge. I guess that's a combo. <laughs> I guess that's a combo. No energy though. Please counter the stadium with a brilliant forest. Please do it. Okay, one sixty. Minus 70, right? And then 240 minus 70, that's 170. If we have 90 on us, that's 260. So we actually survived two hits from Calamity Slash, even if we have damage counters on us. <laughs> They're grapes, Alex. Or, yeah, okay, so he goes for that. That's fine. That is fine, because we have the other one right here. We even topped the, another one. And I can actually get back energy, which is very nice. Okay, so we'll lead with the Bills. Steven a Choice Helmet. And then I'll bench this guy. How do I fully heal though? This guy does smack me for a lot eventually. <laughs> Subway, thank you so much for the three of my Very kind of you. Okay, snack search. There we go. I definitely want the energy. Okay. That's a lot of damage from Calamity Slash, though. That's the issue. What if I attack? No, Latios is weak to Psychic, so I can't attack with Latios. Can't power up Latios. I don't think I can survive enough turns though. Cause I can't, well, actually I can, I think. Yeah, 90, okay, so then I get double floral heal. Plus the great potion, the great potion is the key. And then I go great potion, so he only deals 90. And then I go attach. And then I go Stevens for yet another great potion, another Stevens, and another energy. Yeah, so I have the exact three energies to try and beat my opponent. Oh, <laughs> worm downy. <laughs> I play on tables indeed. Also, my last name is literally table, so I think it makes a lot of sense. <laughs> 90, that's fine. Ooh. Top decking the energy means I can snack search instead of Stevens. Though I think Stevens is better. And then all I need is to fully heal. So the Gardenia. And then. One loose, I mean, is prized. So I kind of like these three. Right? That's a lot of turns of healing. And I can't get discarded again. Have we made it? Are we going to win? Tail was a Gen 10 unannounced Pokemon. <laughs> I play, I stream, and uh, I stream on PCGO, but I play the physical game on tabletop. Right? On tables. So I have played on the floor before. Okay. Perfect. So, I mean, I don't even need to... to heal with Gardenia this turn. So let me do some quick maths. Tailman was the world's mascot, indeed. <laughs> Okay, so I attack and I heal 30, right? I'm down to 20, so then he deals to 40, minus 70, that's 170. I still survive, I'm still fine, right? 
I'm still fine. So, I think I'll take this turn to Lusamine for this guy. And, ah, uh, no, I should have saved the Lusamine. This was a bad play. And this, because the Stevens is good post uh, reset stamp, right? And then calming her again. <laughs> I used to tell you. I think we've done it. We've finally got it to the point where we just attack, 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 and win. Maybe I should have healed though fully. It's gonna do a lot of damage. And another, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Perfect. A second guard should be a team, I think would have won my opponent the game because I didn't fully heal last turn. So that might have been a bad call. Okay, so I would have had 190. Then I went down to 150 and then went down to 70. And then plus another 170. I guess that wasn't a knockout, but then I don't think I would have been able to get out of that threshold. So if I went at another guard should be a team, I'm pretty sure he would have won because I didn't heal. Yeah, because that extra 80 damage there would have been very, very impactful. Okay, so yeah, we got a win. Awesome, we got a win. Uh, so yeah, guys, that will be all for today. Yeah, thank you so much for this shorter stream. It wasn't that much shorter than the previous days, uh, but I haven't had lunch. It's Friday, um, time to take a chill. I have been working a lot <laughs> lately and yeah, what if he plays Gengar Mimic Attack Team, then you immediately get wrecked. So yeah, guys, I will be back on Monday, though. I will be back on Monday. My plan is to stream 11, 11.30 a.m. up to 2 p.m. every single day, as long as I'm not traveling every single day, Monday through Friday. This is our new schedule. I'm going to try and stick to it. So if you're watching live, uh, make sure you get the notification thing going. I will be live on Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday and on Friday. That will be all for me today, guys. Don't forget to leave a like. Really appreciate it. Check out our sponsors. Best way to support the channel for free. If you can't subscribe, if you can't donate, just any card you're going to buy, make sure you follow the link and that's all you need to do. Thank you guys so much. Have a great, great weekend and I will catch you next time. Bye. -bye.